The time has come for dear friends to go home. Release our brother, Mazi Namdekano. Charlie Bori tells President Mohamed Buhari. <laughs> Hello, guys. You are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Following a report that the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, the River State Governor Nelson Mwike, among other presidential aspirants of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, during the party's special convention on May 28 in Abuja, had given delegates over $50,000 to swift their votes in favor of a particular aspirant. Nigerian singer Charlie Boy has reacted to this development. Reacting to this report, Charlie Boy has called President Muhammad Buhari, asking him to release Mazin Namdekano, the indigenous people of Biafra's leader, says it's time for Biafrans to return home. <laughs> and these have generated so many reactions by Nigerians. As we progress, this, we hear what Nigerians have to say concerning this uh, statement made by Charlie Boy. Every same person do not want to be in Nigeria. That is the truth. And those people who want to be here are those people who are benefiting from the same Nigeria. We are being ruled by, you know, the same set of people who have destroyed this country. We are being ruled by people who have no conscience. We are being ruled by people who have their back, who have their mind, their heart at their back. They don't care whatever the masses are going through. They are just, they are just too selfish, self-centered people. These are the people who are our leaders. If Nigeria should move forward, let Nigerians, let us stand and say no to this PDP and the APC uh, party. These people, now then put us for where we date now. And if we continue to allow them to do whatever they are doing, they will continue to mess us up. They are comfortable looting our resources and all that. Come on, $50,000 for a delegate. Now, coming back to delegates, these delegates are all Nigerians, right? All of them, all of us joined a cry for waiting with the pass through right now. But because they are, they are selfish too, greedy. Because of greedy, they would not allow themselves to do the needful. You are collecting $50,000 to vote for somebody whom you know that this person cannot, you know, deliver, whom you know that have no good record to show. You are collecting money from there because you feel that the money is just good for you and your family members. You collect that money, honestly speaking. Feel that $50,000 is a good money. Yes, it's a very huge amount of money. But how many months are you going to spend that money? How many years will these people come to room? So after spending, after spending that money, let's say three to four months, you still have like four years of your life to lament in anguish, in sorrow, in poverty and all that they don't put all these things into considerations people are agitating nigerian government are saying why are you agitating nigeria will keep on uh, 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 to leave as one nigerians will keep on to leave as one with all this kind of attitude also have been on strike for how many months now our leaders are not talking about this but they are busy doling out cash to delegate because that is just what they are after. They are selfish ambition. That is what they are pursuing. But it's really very, very uh, a big shame that Nigerians cannot even realize what these people are up to. Up to now is a big shame.
Man, I said, I'm And then, uh, I pop members agitating for their freedom because they feel that they are, they are being ill treatment in the South, are being treated, ill treated in the Southeast region. People are saying, why are you doing that? This and this and that. With this level of corrupt leaders, how do you think this country is going to move forward? Because definitely, once they get to that office, they will, they will want to, you know, cash out first those money they have spent. This is just the genesis. They have not started spending on. By the time they will start to re-campaign election, you will now see how they are going to be doling out the re money. But Nigerians are suffering. We don't have good roads. We don't have good hospitals. There is nothing to show. Insecurity have, you know, taken over the regions of this country. What is the government doing to stop bandits, Fulani Hesmen and Boko Haram? Now we have another one now in the, in the Southeast, unknown gunmen, under the watch of this government. Citizens are being killed like foul. And somebody will, will be there talking, one Nigeria, are we actually, are we actually one? Is there anything somebody can be, you know, say, can, uh, can now chest out to say, this is what I am actually benefiting from this country right now? What are we going to say? Honestly, this is getting out of hand. And as far as we are going to continue in this very part that we are now, there is no headway in this country. There is no headway. People who are saying APC should go. President Mamadou Buhari should leave. Let PDP enter. We want this person. You want who? Is it not the same set of people? This the same set of people. You just look at what they are doing. This the same set of people. The same set of people who have been ruling us, who have kept us here like this. All of them has made life horrible for us. But God surely one day will judge. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for listening.